Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to create this design right here. It is a cool design for dad. It could be sold for Father's Day or dad's birthday or just any general gift for dad. So it can be definitely an evergreen style. It says, dad, you break it, I fix it. But this um, kind of the, the thing with this is we're gonna go over how to kind of get those tool cutouts within the letters. So that's what we're kind of going over on, on this video. So if this is something that you would like to learn how to do, please stick around. Okay, so we are starting on Canva's home page. I do want to start right from the beginning because I've had some people that get a little bit confused on how I get to my blank backdrop. And so right here on Canva's home page, I usually go up to create a design or you can go to custom size either way. So if you went to create a design and then you scroll down towards the bottom, you'll see where it says custom size or you can just click custom size. And this is how I'm gonna get my blank canvas. I will put in 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. You can switch between pixels, inches, millimeters, centimeters. You're always gonna design in pixels pretty much um, unless you're doing something like KDP, then I would switch to like inches. But we're gonna go with 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. So that is gonna be my standard size and it'll just pull up a nice blank canvas like this. Um, and so this is what I'm working on. Now I will go ahead and just select black as my background color. And so if I click on my blank canvas and I come up to the top left hand corner, you'll see a little box here. It says background color. If you hover over it, if you click on that, you can now select your background color. There are also gradients down here. That's new. Um, Considering we usually use a transparent background, the gradients aren't particularly important unless you're doing something like a poster or KDP. Um, but for shirts, you know, you're just gonna go ahead, pick a nice black color, and it will end up being a transparent background. The black is just representing the black shirt that I'm optimizing for, but it could be really any color you want to design on. Um, and so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start with some text. Now we're gonna make a fun Father's Day style design. And I'm gonna go ahead and have it say dad with some tools and then we'll go with something like, you know, you break it, I fix it, something like that. Um, so I'm gonna start with the text box. To do that, I'm just gonna hit T on my keyboard and it will pull up a text box. And I'm gonna be doing this in all caps, but I'll show you in lowercase first, just so that you can see if I type in dad, I can drag the corner out here, make it really big. And now what I do want is for it to be capitalized. So if you want something capitalized and it's in lowercase, if you click on that text box and you come up to the top, you'll see a big A and a little A. If you click on that, it will automatically capitalize everything. If you click on it again, it will put it in lowercase. So that is one way that you can kind of just play with your, your um, fonts here. Now that I have that, I am gonna go ahead and select a font. For this specific design, I want something that's gonna be nice and solid because I'm gonna put some tool outlines inside of it. So I'm picking a font that I got from um, Creative Fabrica. So it's one of the ones that I downloaded for free from Creative Fabrica. So that's what I'm gonna be using. You can go ahead and look through your fonts and see what it is you wanna use or you can go to Creative Fabrica, download it for free and upload it onto Canva. I do have a video on how to do that. But I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm going to just type in the one that I know I want, which is, uh, let's see, it's Ramon, Ramani, there it is. Ramini, no, I can't say that. Ramini Nama, Namamu, Namamu, regular. Okay, <laughs> well that's it. So you can see it makes everything solid. So the insides would be solid. You wouldn't have any holes. Now, if you wanna pick a different font and you don't have one that's solid like that, no worries, you can always make it solid. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna pull up another text box just to prove my point. Make it nice and big. I'll put dad in it again. And let's go ahead and pick some other font just to kind of see what we're working with. You wanna pick something that's nice and thick though that you can easily fill in. So usually something really bold. So here's a font, for example, where the center is not filled in. It's nice and bold. If I did wanna use this, all I'd have to do 
is fill this in with white, which I could easily do by just putting like a circle or something on top. So for example, if you hit C on your keyboard, it will pull up a circle. You can change the color of the circle right here. So if it's not already on white, you could select white. I can bring that circle down, I can shrink it, and I can do something like that, and that would easily fill in the letter, and it would work just fine for this style. Then if I wanted to duplicate that circle, is the circle on top, it's on the bottom. If I want to duplicate that circle, I can just click on the circle, hit Control D on my keyboard, that will duplicate it. So now I've got another copy of that circle. I can move it over to the other D. And then I can do that one more time, Control D, move it over to the A. I would have to shrink it down a little bit, but that's no problem. And that is how I can get a nice solid font without having to have a solid font. So you can really do this with any font you want. So I just wanted to prove that point because I know not everybody will have this font available. So you can do this with fonts that you get directly from Canva, no problem. So if you don't have this one, no worries, don't panic, okay? So you can do this with any font that you want, but I am gonna get rid of this. I am gonna start with the font that I picked at first. And now what we are gonna be doing is putting some tools in it to kind of create those holes within the letters. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side. I'm gonna come up to where it says elements. I'll be clicking on that. And I'm just gonna do a little search for tools. And what we're looking for is more silhouette style tools. Um, so something that we can put that's just gonna be, we can make black. Now, don't worry if you can't find silhouettes, you can literally take any one that you want, use a duotone on it, make both colors black, and literally you can get that silhouette style from anything. And I do also have videos on how I do that. I do have a silhouette video. So don't worry if, if you need to kind of catch up on how to do that. But for right now, we are just looking for some nice, easy style. So for example, here's a hammer. I can bring this hammer up and oops for whatever reason it's going behind there we go i bring the hammer up i can shrink it down so that it's here i can rotate it so it's here let's say that i kind of wanted to flip it because i think the curve should go the other way i can always take the any image click on it come up to the top where it says flip and then i can go ahead and flip it horizontal i'll have to rotate it again because it was already at a diagonal but there we go and then i can make it whatever size i want it to be and put it right there so right now i've got the hammer looks really good for dad so you can go through and look at different tools see if you can find any if you already kind of have a good idea of what you want you can do a search individually for you know specific tools i'm just kind of looking in general to see what they have and you know what kind of tools i think might fit well inside of this so here's a nice wrench, um, there we go. I can again change the color up here to black. I can make that nice and big, so something like that. And that looks pretty easy. I can add other things too. I could put a screwdriver, I could put more than one tool. So it doesn't have to be just one thing. Here, I mean, I've seen this design done a lot of different ways before, so always try to kind of make, make your own, make it a little bit different. Um, need one more tool for the A, and I know that people have done pliers for that in the past. I'm just gonna go ahead and look for pliers and go to graphics. And so here's some easy pliers that you can use that would make for a good um, silhouette right there. Here's some more. I'm looking for something that is gonna kind of fit this shape. So it's pretty narrow, at least the letters I chose. So I'm looking for pliers that have have a little bit more of a narrow look versus a wide look. This one might actually work really well because it is already black and it looks like it fits nicely. Okay, good. Go ahead, we'll stick with this one. I like that one, fits real good. And I'm just gonna kind of center it inside the A, something like that. And what the heck, I think I'm gonna put a little thing right here for more of that center of the A, maybe something like a, a nut. Let's see if I can find a nut here. Oops, so that didn't quite work. Nut, and if I put tool, oh, there we go. So here's some nuts. So again, I can pick any one of these I like. I'm gonna shrink that down. I know it's hard to see black on a black background. Sometimes I will temporarily change my background color to something like a really dark gray, just so that I can see the difference if I'm, you know, designing with black. 
but I will need this all to be black and I'll show you why. So now what I have is my cool dad. Now, if I was to save this image as is with a transparent background and go to put it on different color shirts, let's say I wanted to put it on a gray shirt, so I change my background color to gray, I'm gonna have black tools and I don't necessarily like that. I want these tools to be more cutout style. So what I'm gonna do to create a cutout is I'm gonna go ahead, change the background color back to black. So I want the background color and the tools to be exactly the same color, okay? That's important because what I'm gonna do is save this um, as an image and then I'll pull it up and I'll use a background removal, remover on it and it should get rid of all the black areas and make this into a cutout. So I'm just gonna put dad black. I'm gonna go to the right hand corner where it says share. I'm gonna go down to where it says download. Now you do not wanna use transparent background on this one. I do want the, the black backgrounds cause that's what's gonna help me with the background remover. So just as it is a PNG, hit download and go ahead and download that. Good, and then once it's done, we can go up to our uploads and upload it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just really quickly create another page that I'm gonna put it on. And I am gonna make this other page sort of a dark gray just so that you can see the difference here. So there's my page, I'll go up to uploads. I'm gonna hit upload files and I'm gonna pick my black dad. There we go. And so then I can just go ahead and click on that, close this. And so here is my now one solid image with a black background. So now I'm gonna use a background remover on it. So I can come up to where it says edit image. There is a new photo editor. So right now I'm on the classic photo editor. You may be on the new one. So if yours looks different than mine, that is why if you want to go back to the classic, if you scroll down to the bottom, there will be something that says, you know, revert back to the classic and then you can do that. I'm on the classic. Both the classic and the new one have the background remover. And so it looks more or less the same. So you can just go ahead and click on that and it should go ahead and remove all of the black. Fingers crossed that this comes out nicely and we don't have to do any of this manually because that takes a bit longer. So we'll wait a sec. And it looks pretty perfect. So it looks like it took care of everything really good. So we'll just go ahead and hit apply. And so now you can see that it has a cutout. So we can see that it's now dark gray instead of um, just black on dark gray. So now I could change the shirt color to anything I wanted. So I could have a red shirt, purple shirt, blue shirt, and you can see that this is now a good cutout. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on black because that is what I'm optimizing for. And here what I can do is I can crop this down and I can put it at the top of my page. I can blow it up. I can make it as big as I like. So I've got my dad there. And now I'm gonna do a few more things. So I did still want to add some more text to this. I've seen this done with a ruler, which I thought looked really cool. So maybe add a little ruler to it. So I'm gonna go back over to the left hand corner where it says elements and let's go ahead. I'm gonna search for a ruler. You can do a ruler, a level. Um, really, you could do anything you want. You could do nothing at all. You could add some more tools. Maybe you could do a big screwdriver right here. So lots of fun ways that we could go with this. I'm looking for something kind of like that might work. Let's see if I find anything a little bit better. I want it to already be, you know, kind of that cut out look because I don't want to have to do another one. So actually, I think I like this one that I found. I had to look for a little bit and I switched from ruler to measuring tape. So sometimes if you can't find something under one search term, try another one. Sometimes it'll just sort of change the order up. And so you might find something faster. So I like that, it's a little bit more narrow, it looks a little bit better with the design. So I did find that one under measuring tape and I found it pretty quickly after searching for a while through you know, the rulers and not really finding one that I liked you know, that, that much. So that one looks really cool, I do really like that. And so now we're just gonna add a little bit more text. So I'm just gonna hit T on my keyboard again, pull up one more text box. And Right now it's in the same font that I used up here. You can use the same font, you can use a different font. Now here you can put anything you like. So I've seen dad, the fixer of everything. Dad, I'm only here because you broke something. 
dad, you know, you break it, I fix it, which is what I think I'm going to do. So just make sure it's not trademarked, but anything that's kind of tool related and dad related would be really cool here. So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to go with kind of a you break it, or maybe I'll do this in lowercase. You break it, I fix it. Oops. You break it, I fix it. Now I can keep it in this font here so that it matches there, or at this point, if I wanna change the font, I can, and I think I will change the font just to make it a little bit, yeah, a little bit better there. So it's easy to read. I don't need it to be solid because I'm not gonna do any more of those cutouts. So something like that, nice and simple, easy Father's Day design, one that you can go a lot of different ways with. You know, I've seen a lot of different variations on this, so I do know it is a popular, you know, kind of style. And you can use this kind of style on a lot of other designs going forward. Obviously, you could make one with mom too and make different cutouts inside the letters. So anytime going forward that you wanna kind of put a cutout inside a letter, that is how you would go about doing that. And of course, you can do it with any font you want just by making it kind of solid first, whether or not you have to fill it in with a circle or whatnot. So you can find a lot of different ways to use this technique. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments section below. I try to get back to it and help you guys out as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing well with all of the end of quarter two uh, designs and starting to look forward to quarter three. And I hope to see you again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.